Hey everyone, my name is Nia Bates. I'm with Cozy Homeschool. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to take you on a little tour of my homeschool room for the 2020-2021 school year. And last year was my first year homeschooling. I was not planning on homeschooling, so it was super chaotic and I was thrown into it really quickly. And I just kind of did most of my homeschooling for my dining room and living room and didn't have it well organized. And I'm kind of a type A person, former public school teacher that I like things to be organized and it puts my mind at ease. So in watching this video, if you're watching it and this gives you stress, then please, I encourage you to set up your homeschooling environment, whatever way just brings you peace and you can keep on track of everything. And it's a fun learning environment because if you're not enjoying it and having fun, you're probably not gonna have fun doing it with your kids and they're not gonna be having fun. So you have to kind of figure out a way that um, sets you up for success. And for me, I my dream was to have a separate space and I know that this isn't possible for everybody. And I wanna tell you that if I didn't have this room, we could still homeschool. That wouldn't prevent us from homeschooling. So not having a homeschool room it doesn't prevent you from being able to give them an awesome education and an experience. But for me, we actually had this outdoor porch and we were gonna close it in and use it as an office, but then life happened and here we are. It's now our homeschool room. Now we call our home the Cozy Cottage. We're here in Williamsville, New York. It's outside of Buffalo. Our home was built in 1836. So we called it the Cozy Cottage. Our daughter named it at the time, she was three. So fitting, we call this, if you can see, the Cozy Cottage Schoolhouse. And we named it there, that last year. Lena said, well, we live in the Cozy Cottage, so this is the Cozy Cottage Schoolhouse. And it's been our theme this year, and I'm gonna take you through our homeschool room. And like I said, do we do stuff at the dining room table? Yes, if we do art, I still go into the kitchen. That's gonna be messy. So this is our main space and where I store a lot of our things. So I'm gonna give you some uh, share some thoughts and inspiration of where we bought things and what stores things well. And I love hearing what other people find. So if you have great ideas and anything you can share with me, please leave them in the comments below. I love to learn new things and really to, to find out how to be efficient with our learning and just really pretty things. So here we are, let's go take a look. So I'm in my kitchen right now and behind me, this used to be the exterior door to go outside to our porch. We decided to close it in and it gave us about an additional 250 square feet and was the perfect size for our new little homeschool room. Okay, so coming in, we found a lot of stuff at Ikea, one of my favorite stores. So coming in and we found these hooks for the kids to put their backpacks. And then this is actually, it's a little place for pictures and hooks, but this is a shoe storage. And I did see some other ideas that you could use for it to store paper. Um, you could store homeschooling supplies. There's our shoes, but this is our an exterior door. So this goes outside. So we just sometimes have the garage door open our keys. So this is what we use for this space. Now I'm gonna do a quick pan of the room. So this is our little homeschool room. It's called the Cozy Cottage Schoolhouse. Our daughter Lena named it that. But we had this desk, Jeremy actually made this desk and then we ended up cutting it down. So he just found the hairpin legs and we just made our own desk and chair. And then we have a lot of windows. I love how bright it is in here. Um, I love things bright, white, it's kind of my style as you can see. And we left some of the beams exposed and we did the spider lights and I really like how it turned out. This is actually, these are floor squares from the company Floor, F-L-O-R. So I like the tiles and if, if you need to replace one, it's easy just to pull a square up and replace it. Now, a lot of our storage furniture we got at Ikea. So all of this is from Ikea and we did have the couch. So that's a piece that we had. And then this is from Ikea. So this is an arts and crafts area. So I store all my arts and crafts in there. I love these carts. These are really popular. You can find them at Home Goods, at Walmart, Target, Ikea. They're everywhere now. And I've seen this on different homeschooler sites. This is a great way to store your curriculum. Now last year, all I had was this cart and this. That's all I had and I stored all the stuff that I, that I needed. So you don't need a, this room, but I found with all of our Art, we do a lot of arts and crafts. So our paints and everything, paper storage, you don't need to have a thing like this, but this just makes me happy organizing my paper. 
Over here we have various art stuff. This is just a stack. This whole stack is all the stuff that Lena did last year. I currently am just holding on to it thinking, my, do I just throw it out? That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to throw it out. I don't know. If you have any suggestion on what I do, I don't want to save this whole stack of papers. Uh, on one hand, I took a picture of it. I wanted to remember all that she was able to get through, but I don't want to hold on to this, okay? So we have a lot of art stuff. These bins are great. They're from Hobby Lobby. So this holds some things that, that we're getting through. Now, these are kind of our working curriculum boxes. So I have their notebooks. I'm doing um, these notebooks are going to be our kind of main thing that we're using. So I separate what they have to do each week in a nice notebook. So this is Lena's, this is Nigel's, this is just other stuff that we're going to be using this year. And then I have a couch. I left the couch. I was debating if I was going to do desks over there for them, but we they're still at an age three and five where I love to be doing a lot of read aloud. So we read a lot. So here on this couch is where we do a lot of reading together. So I want to keep it for now. This is great. This is actually from Target. So after we got this big storage thing from Ikea, I found that I had about 26 inches or whatever it was left. And I said, "Ooh, I bet I can fit another bookshelf. And here we are, Target. It was only like $25. It was perfect. It does the trick. So up here I store... This is a pre-K curriculum stuff, so this will be for Nigel next year, some things for this year, some stuff I'm just saving up, some um, flashcards, our math manipulatives, DVDs, dry erase stuff. These are stem blocks, so at their age, they have some bigger things. This is... Um, this will be the all about reading for Nigel next year. Now, this is great. It's a magnetic board. So Lena does a, a lot of building of her words and letters on here. I didn't want to put it at the wall, on the wall, because she loves to use it. And I find that we get it out. I want her to be able to build the letters. So I kind of just need it to be off of the wall and not stationary. And then we can go wherever we are with it. So up on the wall, we found this at Hobby Lobby, this dry erase board. It's beautiful. kind of has the rustic wood. I found that black and white um, chalkboard sign at Hobby Lobby, and I wrote the Cozy Cottage Schoolhouse. I got the cross at Hobby Lobby, which I love. The alphabet hangings here, boop, and there, boop. Those are from Etsy. So I found those on Etsy, and I wanted to have the cursive and the print. And then this clock up here is from Society6, and it is a teaching clock. So I'll scan in, and it's really cute. It teaches them how to tell time. So, and it's really pretty. So this string here, I got this bead from Hobby Lobby. And what I thought was perfect about it is it had eight clips and we're doing classical conversations. That's uh, part of the curriculum that we're using. And so it had eight clips for the eight cards that I needed each week. So our timeline is up here, part of our timeline. We have a map. This is uh, my inspo for my cozy homeschool logo that we just did. And in here, let me show you. Let's go back. And we have this whole section is really Nigel's preschool curriculum. So his learning activities, his math, these are books to read, boop, together, some teaching dry erase resources. So this is kind of his section. And then I have more flashcards. In here, I'm going to open up these cabinets. Look how much space is in here, and I love this because again, they're still at the age where I have a ton of hands-on learning tools. We have the big bananagrams. Okay, we have Moby for kids for math. It's like bananagrams, but for math. Tiny polka dot. This a lot of this is from Timberdoodle. And then games, some from Target. So this GeoSmart Deluxe Kit has been amazing. Our kids love it, love it. Both of them play with it for hours. We have the Plus Plus Big. We have Geo Boards for math. So this is learning games, learning activities, okay? Let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next bin, let's open it up, next drawers. This is science area. So we have our science kit. I love show me science awesome we have our counting bears and then down here we have a lot of our smart games and then these are kind of bigger these are our maps um so i just put them in here now the last section i have we have language arts so this is all lena's language arts for this year from books and cards and readers and her curriculum and then down here these things are like dry erase books and our phonics Flash cards. So this is kind of her section. And then we have, we're doing U.S. history this year. So we have some bingo and some puzzles and a map. And then this whole box is for classical conversations. 
So again, we're doing US history. So I got a lot of Usborne books and I bought some books through Timberdoodle that all have to do with US history. And what else do we have? Yeah, our foundations curriculum. So this is like CC cycle three stuff. Um, I have puzzles up here. This is our devotional that we've been using this summer. And what else? Let's go over to the other side. So this is my desk area here. And what I want to show you is last year I used this bin. This bin is actually on wheels. I got it from Home Goods. I used it for their learning activities, but this year it's, it's my file cabinet. So I have stuff for them. I have the Bible curriculum in here. I want to show you what I do with this. So what I did with this accordion file folder here is that I have half of the year in here and I actually like to divide up what the kids need to do each week into these folders. So the work, the week that they're working on goes into their binder over there. But this is, I wanna show you, I've already kind of divided. So week two, and for me, this was helpful. When I tried to divide out their learning every day, that made it more stressful for me. So I just take this out and said, you know what, this week we have to get this done. So everything in here we have to get done at some point throughout the week. So I already have the math divided up. We're doing master books, math for a living education. So I have it divided up in here. And then I have some CC work page, uh, worksheets. So when it's on, it's time for week two, I'll just take this out. When they're done with the previous week, I'll put it back in here. So I have everything organized and it takes a lot of the thought and I've already done the prep work. So, and it's pretty. This cabinet comes from Ikea. It's the Hemnes, or however you would say it, because I'm obviously not Swedish, so I'm sure it sounds different than my Pittsburgh accent. But this cabinet here is where I keep all my arts and crafts. So I keep my paints up high so the children can get them. Um, those, because you need the toilet paper holders for crafts at their age. And then we have markers and pencils and crayons and glue sticks all the glue and things are in here and this is great i i love this i usually bring it out when we're doing school a lot of the pens and things and then this drawer is kind of my drawer so the staplers the hole punch and then i have more arts and craft supplies and cotton balls and index cards and then here i have kind of extras so extra crayons, extra storage things, miscellaneous. Okay, and then I kind of explained this card already. This is great, this is so wonderful. If you don't have a lot of space in your house, this will go a long way for homeschooling. So the last area over here is kind of my arts and miscellaneous, a lot of art books and how to draw. And um, she loves those aqua beads and we have a loom. And I just try to keep uh, my paper sorted and the colors, we use a lot of construction paper. Now what I haven't finished is the table and, and chairs. I actually bought another table uh, that's coming and then this table is going to go out of there. It's kind of their play table and then I purchased four school chairs for this room and the table is going to be bigger but what I did was buy a table that is foldable. So I ended up going with one of those tables where you can fold the legs and you can put it away because they're still at an age that they like to be on the floor for some things and we do a lot of hands-on learning. So I wanna be able to push a table to the side if we need to and just use the floor space. So it's a 48 inch table, I found it on Amazon. It has white top with black legs and it also can adjust so it can be lower to the ground so it can be kids height and it's not too high. And then I got these stackable black chairs that are gonna go with the table. So that's a little preview of our homeschool room, the Cozy Cottage Schoolhouse. And it's still a work in progress. So I might circle back later on when I found some things or change some things. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Any suggestions for my room, something you think is missing, I'd always love to hear. And I hope you liked it. And again, I just wanna encourage you that if you don't have a separate room, a separate space, you can still do an amazing job homeschooling and just make it yours. And we will, I'm sure, end up in the dining room table in the living room. And we, when it's nice out, we go to our front porch, we are outside a lot, just go to the park. Take your reading, take your math, go to the park. So think outside the box, it doesn't have to be in a room all day because who wants to stay in the same room all day anyway? Not me, but I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. And I love the coziness of it, hence the cozy, cozy homeschool. And it's my little happy space. So I hope you enjoyed this. And remember, make it a great day or not.
the choice is yours. Bye.